What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris and this is my channel Barn on 11970. Thank you as always for taking the time to listen to what I have to say. And um, I've been actually watching, uh, for those of you who watch my videos all the time, know that I like to watch videos and a lot of times things just happen and approach me at the times that I need it. And my, my um, viewers say the same thing, that when I make a video, it tends to be something that happens just when they supposedly need it. Now, the majority of people in this world will consider that a coincidence or just dumb luck or whatever. And if you know pretty much how things work, and this is pretty much the secret to everything, that you manifest things based on your feelings. And I want to show you an example of something. I don't know if you've seen recently what they've been saying about actor slash comedian Jim Carrey. And, uh, or Jim Carrey. And um, he's been talking about, you know, that he's not really there and things are, you know, manifested. So it seems like he kind of knows what he's talking about. But of course, Hollywood and mainstream media is going to kind of make it like he's going crazy. Now, he doesn't exactly do it in the most sane way, so, I mean, you know, maybe that's his way of keeping himself safe, because, you know, if you talk too much when you're in that realm, you tend to disappear, suicided, or have some family member have something happen to you, which is unfortunate. But one of the things that he said, because he seems like he's starting to go on the right path, but he doesn't seem to get it all, because, like, one of his recent interviews he did where he's going to some, I guess, fashion the show and he's being interviewed by some girl from E! Network or E! News, whatever the hell mainstream media garbage that is, and he kind of circles around her and he talks about how it doesn't matter. Well, there he's wrong, because if things didn't matter, there wouldn't be a purpose, and if there isn't a purpose of something, then it, it, it has no reason to exist. Everything serves some form of purpose. Now, what that is, sometimes you have to kind of figure out, because that's why we're here is to kind of figure out what we can learn and a lot of times we learn through our mistakes through our errors through our pains because they tend to send the signal a little bit stronger and we tend to pay attention to it now the majority of people will say woe was me and feel sorry for themselves or just not realize they have the power that they have now i want you to listen because if you've watched my videos and if you haven't before i definitely recommend them um I talk about how you manifest your own reality based on your feelings because basically if you think that your brain is the most powerful thing in your body, you're wrong. The brain creates thoughts like your TV creates the programs you're watching. In other words, if you're on watching TV and let's say you're watching um, Happy Days, the actors are not in your TV even though they appear on your TV. It's coming from a signal elsewhere. Well, your brain works the same way. Your brain receives images that are known as thoughts. Your most powerful body part is not your brain, although it is powerful. Your heart has more power than your brain. That is one of the reasons why when you look at words and syllables and meanings, they're always telling you to put your heart into things. Because when you realize that the universe is made of basically electricity and is held together through magnetism and spirals, you realize there's a reason why when you like something, you're attracted to it. And your heart has its own magnetic sphere that propels outside of your body. It's almost like a bubble around yourself. Think of it like your own ozone layer. And you could tell that it gets affected by other people. If you've ever had somebody you want that you don't want near you too close to you, you'll feel that awkward feeling like you don't want the person near you. It's that uncomfortable feeling. It's well, your magnetic field is pressing against theirs. So it interferes with each other. Just like if you were listening to a radio and you went underneath a bridge, it can distort the signal. The, stig the signal's still there, there's just something messing it, up, messing it up temporarily. Now I want you to think about the words that I said earlier about what Jim Carrey said. He says, it doesn't matter. Now, what is the world and the universe made of? 
It's made, well, it's made of electrons, which is energy, and it creates what? It creates matter. Well, if you think about how I talk about in previous videos, how you listen to the meaning of words, sometimes it's phonetically, you can kind of, what I like to call, understand the meaning behind things that are said. Because when you believe in something and you put your heart into something, well, it matters to you. Well, it matters. In other words, if you put your heart into something, it matters. In other words, it manifests and becomes matter. If something is not important and you don't care about it, it doesn't matter. In other words, it's not going to manifest in your life. It's not going to be something that is going to be important in your life. So if you listen to the words and how we speak, it's hidden in plain sight. So when people say, oh, it matters, or oh, it doesn't matter, well, they don't seem to realize, because like I've always said, you need real eyes to realize, that your heart and your feelings are going to manifest what you want, even if it's the exact opposite of what your head says you, you want or don't want. And that's why people tend to not solve their problems ever, because they're so focused on wishing for things, hoping for things, praying for things, drinking their problems away, you know, taking it out on other people through anger and abuse. Realize that their head might say, oh, I don't want these bad relationships, but there's something in those bad relationships you need to learn, so you keep manifesting the same type of relationship, even if it's different people, and wonder why it never gets fixed. It's because it doesn't matter what your head thinks, or what you try and convince yourself of, or what you choose to not believe in, because belief is irrelevant. So I have said so many times, there's a reason why there's the word lie in belief. Because you can say you don't believe in oxygen, because you can't see it, so you don't know where it is. So you could say, well, I can't see it, I don't know where it is, I don't believe in it, it doesn't mean you're not breathing it. And at the same token, and I've used this example before, if somebody put a poison in your drink, you didn't see it, and somebody tells you, oh, your friend just put poison in your drink, and you say, I don't believe it, will that save you if you drink it? So your belief system is the way that they control you because it's based on emotion. Why do you think when you watch the news and mainstream media and politicians and all this stuff, there's always talking about wars and famines and terrorist attacks and the boogeyman just around the corner and the next latest virus? It's all about keeping you scared. Because if you're in your heart, you're scared. It doesn't matter how much you convince yourself you're not. Your heart will always tell you what you truly feel. And the way you can tell how you truly feel is by what manifests around you. And if it's the opposite of what you're thinking, that means you're not being true to yourself. Because you can lie to the world. You can lie to your friends and family. And heck, you can even lie to yourself. But you can't lie to what is true. Now here's the weird part. The truth is subject. It basically boils down to your version of your truth. Because what's your truth may not be somebody else's. And that's why there's so many people in this world this day fighting with each other because they are not understanding or understanding that somebody else's truth is different from theirs. And a lot of it is just based on their own belief system and everybody has a different belief. That's why people are trying so hard to think and be the same way. Well, that's great if you want to spend life as a robot. So it does matter. In other words, it does manifest. So Jim Carrey might be on the right path and he might be starting to think in a different way and maybe being a free from the illusion that is control. But I think he may be kind of kidding around to make it so it doesn't seem like he's really trying to get out of the system. But it does matter. You create and manifest your own world based on your thoughts to the point where what you truly feel is going to manifest even if it's sarcasm even if you say well i don't believe in this stuff or it's a bunch of bs well is there any wonder why your world is creating things that justify your belief system and your truth so if you think even what i'm saying is bs 
you're going to find a lot of things 